Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Taylor if you're new. If um, you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. Today's video is gonna be what's in my hospital bag for baby number four. So for those of you that don't know, um, I have a four-year-old daughter, Hannah, and then I have twin boys, Walker and Weston, who are about to turn two in October. And then this baby is coming in about 11 days, baby girl, Audrey. So I just wanted to show you what this experienced mom <laughs> packs in the hospital bag for myself and for the baby, what I think is necessary and what's not. If that's something that you want to see, then stay tuned. Okay, so starting off with the bags. Both of these bags were free because I like free. Free is for me. Um, this is the baby's bag. This is mine. It's packed very neatly and beautifully as you can see <laughs> um yeah these house shoes look gross but they're really not I hardly ever wear them so I'm not sure why they look like that and I only wear them inside need house shoes because you'd be wanting to out of breath already you'd be wanting to walk around if you're having a c-section because it makes you heal faster gets you going and whatever just walk around as soon as you can so for clothes, I um, you don't have to bring any clothes. Technically, you can wear a gown, the hospital gown, but that's a no thank you from me. I got this from Target on clearance. It's a really long, just like nightgown. It's not a nursing gown. Those cost a little extra. I got this for like 12 bucks. So it's super soft, and all you do is just pull it down to nurse. It's nice and comfortable. Um, I have a lot of these nursing tanks from, um, shoot, what is that store called? Oh my gosh, it totally am blanking. Something motherhood. Motherhood? Maternity. There you go. Motherhood maternity. I got these for like $8 before I had the twins. So I have that, and I'll wear that just as a shirt. It's got like a built-in like bra thing. So does this. So you don't have to worry about wearing a bra. Uh, these shorts are life. They are, these are the stars above postpartum. They're from Target. Postpartum shorts. The other brand was like, they got rid of it. It's like Gillian and ba Jillian. I don't know what it was called. GMB something. Anyway, I bought two more pairs. So I have three pair total. And I'd buy your pre-pregnancy size, maybe a little bigger if you're in between. They have this, like, if you're having a C-section in particular, your, um, anything that hits right here, like right on you where your incision is, is going to rub and it's going to hurt. So you want stuff that's going to go well above your incision. So these are the perfect shorts that are so soft and so comfortable. So I have that as an outfit. And then, and if I don't wear all this, then I'll just wear it at home. Like, I just rather have it than explain to my husband, oh, I want the shirt that has the stripes and has the, you know, that's just me. Anyway, so this is the same tank. It's just a different pattern. Um, and I have shorts that go with that. Actually, I think these shorts were supposed to go with that. <laughs> I'm pretending I like to match. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, these are just regular, these aren't postpartum or anything. Where are these from? Old Navy. These are just shorts. They do hit me above uh, where my incision will be, so that's fine. These are new. These are um, also not specifically postpartum. So I got a size above because it's Target. So um, these will be nice and comfortable. I like sleep shorts, so that'll be perfect. And then another one of those. Um, nursing tanks and then I got this robe um, from pink blush um, I think when I was pregnant with the twins I want to say and you can get like some good discounts from there so check them out um, to see if they have any good like codes where the heck is the top of this there it is <laughs> so it's from pink blush and um, I really enjoyed having this at the hospital. It just made me feel like less of a disgusting 
gross bleeding everywhere person. I did bring some underwear. I do wear the like um, disposable mesh underwear. Nothing wrong with that. I just brought this just in case. These are high waisted specifically for. Um, I bought these when I was pregnant with the twins. Have some just regular socks. They give you the weird hospital socks. I don't care for them much. So just brought some of my regular socks. And then if it's cold, which I'm like never cold, so I doubt I'll wear this. But this is just like a Ralph Lauren. I bought this from like TJ Maxx or something. Um, button down so it's easy for nursing. Make sure to, if you're planning on nursing, keep that in mind when you're lo looking for stuff to wear. Like a t-shirt is not going to be your ideal thing to wear. This is long sleeve and it's a bit on the short side, but that's okay. <laughs> I can wear my robe. Although my robe is a bit on the short side too. Y'all, just tall people problems. I'm almost 5'11", so I'm pretty tall. Um, more huge underwear. You definitely need um, high-waisted, again, high-waisted, loose underwear for sure. I did bring one nursing bra. These are the best. This is the brand I was talking to, trying to think of earlier. Oh, I wasn't even close in O'Malley. Gilligan, I was sort of close on that. <laughs> I don't know if they make like a comparable one now from Target, but I loved these for nighttime. I couldn't go without a bra when I was nursing the twins. I did nurse the twins for 13 months before I called it quits. So I did have experience there with my daughter and experience, I didn't um, nurse, but six weeks, I wasn't very successful there. Um, but so I did a lot more got a lot more experience with the twins. I am bringing these. Your milk probably won't come in when you're in the hospital, but when you have a C-section, you're there a couple more days or an extra day usually. But when you have a C-section, sometimes your milk comes in later. So I'm just bringing these just in case. I only use these like the first, I don't know, six weeks till your milk supply regulates and then you don't leak quite as much. They're disposable nursing pads. I highly recommend them. I've used reusable ones and I don't like them. <laughs> so I just bought like big packages of them from Amazon and I had leftovers. So that's all I used. So that's all my clothes. And then I packed a little thing of toiletries. Um, I use this on my hair. This is pretty much the only thing I use after I take a shower. I've um, got my brush. I will take a shower there as soon as they let me. This is the deodorant I use. It works. It smells like old lady, but you know, whatever. Some soap. Um, they do supply usually. So I am gonna probably use their shampoo. Um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not packing any. But um this I got from Growth Collaborative for free. I don't usually buy face stuff. Uh wipes. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna bring my makeup. I'm not really a makeup hair kind of gal. Um, I don't spend my time on that typically, and I don't like the way it feels on my face. So, um, I'm just bringing that in case I do decide to wear some makeup. That's a little bit easier way of taking it off. I always bring a toothbrush that they give you at, like, the dentist. <laughs> free ones. And then I just throw it away when I'm done. They do have toothbrushes at the hospital usually. So, if you keep that in mind. I'm bringing this to you um, in case this isn't enough. Not sure if I'm gonna like to have scented anything next to my, even close to my incision, so we'll see how I feel. Toothpaste. I usually use um, Colgate Max Fresh, but I got this for free couponing at Kroger, so I thought I'd try it. It looks kind of similar, so we'll see. If I don't like it, I'll just have my husband bring up the normal stuff. This is a travel version of the moisturizer stuff I use Neutrogena Hydro Boost it comes in like a tub so I'm bringing that chapstick for sure like that should be really high up there on your list and hair ties because if I lose a hair tie I ain't wearing my hair down so <coughs> this is another must um I did not know about this with my first baby and um this stuff is so good. If you're gonna be breastfeeding, it's called um, nipple butter, Earth Mama 
Angel Baby is what it used to be. It just says Earth Mama Organics. I don't know if they dropped the other part. But, ooh, it's not supposed to look like that. Oh, there it goes. It's like a ointment. It's a balm. And you put it on when you're sore. And then the babies can nurse on it. I don't do lanolin. Um, I really, really like this. I tried to use lanolin with my first, and it, it was awful. Um, this texture, and it just works really well, in my opinion. This is one of the number one products I recommend to, like, new moms. They're going to be nursing. It's awesome. What else is in here? Nothing. This was also free. <laughs> wow. I've collected some free bags. This is some glass eyeglass cleaner. Where is the little cloth? Maybe I'm sitting on it. Oh, I'm getting so hot with these lights. I don't know where the cloth is. It's here somewhere. Anyway, let's move on to the, the baby stuff. You don't need much because, well, you technically don't need anything. You could just show up and you just need a car seat to leave. But, well, I guess they have to have an outfit to leave. But they have stuff there. They have blankets. They have little outfits they can wear there at the hospital if they don't have anything. They have hats. They have diapers and wipes. Do not bring your own diapers and wipes unless you are really particular about what you use. Usually they use, like, Huggies. I think it depends on your hospital. Um, where? Okay. This is... Oh, by the way, if you're pregnant and you're registered at Target, go to Target and ask them for a registry bag. They give you a bunch of free stuff, coupons, all that stuff, and you get a free bag. That's what that's from. I don't remember which pregnancy that's from. Um, I have just a burp cloth in here. They'll have stuff at the hospital, but I just brought this. This is a Burt's Bees one from Amazon. Got a couple little socks in here. So these are my daughter, um, so my first, wore a dress very similar to this. I actually apparently got rid of the one she wore. It was a three month anyway, so that would have been too big. It was too big on her, but it looked almost exactly like this. So that was her going home outfit, so I thought that'd be fun for baby girl to um, wear something similar to sister. And... Sister also wore this. This is her exact outfit. I hate snaps, but we didn't know better when we had Hannah about snaps. Never buy anything with snaps, y'all. Zippers all the way. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be fun for her to wear for Audrey. This uh, this baby's name is going to be Audrey. Um, to wear Hannah's old stuff. I brought this. This is like a gown thingy. This was the boys that... I don't know if they ever got to wear. I don't know. They were born pretty premature. They were at 33 weeks, so nothing really fit them for a while. <laughs> Brought just a cute onesie. Here's the other sock. I don't know why I have two of these. I don't need two of these. Okay, I'm taking that out. So just a couple outfits. And then, is this blanket not the cutest blanket you've ever seen? Okay, story time. When I had Hannah, I had no idea what a muslin blanket was. I discovered this <laughs> when I had the twins, or when I, I started watching YouTube, like when I was pregnant with the twins, because I was trying to find out different information, and I was on bed rest for like a long time, at like 25 weeks, I was put on bed rest, so I had a lot of free time, and um, <clears throat> I discovered muslin blankets, and I picked this up for Audrey, is this not the cutest blanket, and it's so soft, and it's ginormous, I'll show y'all how big this is. Look how big this is. Is that not insane? This is a queen size bed. Like, it's huge. So these are from Target. It's in a set from Target, I should say. Um, <coughs> they're like $20, but you can use different coupons and get them for cheaper. And you can buy them at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or whatever and get pretty good prices. But muslin blankets are awesome. They're super cool, like for here in Texas. And, um... It doesn't get really super cold here. And it's awesome for nursing and everything. So, anyway. But that's everything. I don't have too much. Now it looks like a total disaster. Maybe it looks better than it did. I don't know. But that's all. So, I'm taking it to the hospital. Of course, I'll have my, like, phone, charger, 
possibly my iPad. Don't even know if I'm going to mess with that or not. Definitely my phone, though, and my charger. Um, and, yeah, that's everything. If you um, enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.